You cannot have Thanksgiving without a beautiful centerpiece and tablescape. So I'm here at Magnolia Hill with Mary Lane Haskell, singer, actress, and writer of The Displaced Debutante. So she's going to give us a tutorial on how to create this beautiful centerpiece um, that's going to make sure that your Thanksgiving is absolutely beyond. So Mary Lane, take it away. Thank you. Um, what I love most about Thanksgiving is family. Absolutely. And so we want to make sure that everything in our tablescape is invoking that sense of family. This year, um, just in a month, on December 28th, is my parents' 35th wedding anniversary. So I picked this china out of our butler's pantry because I wanted to kind of celebrate that. Of course, we've got magnolias, magnolia leaves because... It's Magnolia Hill. It's Magnolia Hill, honey. We gotta have magnolias. And these rain trees, um, in case you've never these heard are of beautiful. a rain tree. Yeah, I haven't. It is it's a tree. It's the first time I've seen them. Um, that is indigenous to the South. Also, rain trees are important to me because they're indigenous to Southern California, okay, which is wow. actually where I was born and raised in Los Angeles. I love having the rain trees. I love having the magnolias. You're also gonna wanna add something that you know, harkens to Thanksgiving. So we've got these beautiful mercury glass pumpkins. Guys, I got these at Tuesday morning. It's beautiful. Super cheap, so cost effective, and beautiful. So if you want to help me, just absolutely, put on definitely. Finishing touches, um, just wherever you see a hole, let's stick some rain trees in. I can do that. I see a little hole right here. Perfect. Look great. And again, we're just adding this pop of color. And what I love to do, then as a final, final touch. We're always gonna have casualties. Right. So this is a little basket of rain tree pods that have fallen off the branches, but we never wanna waste anything. We don't wanna just throw these out. No waste. So we're gonna subtly take the rain tree pods and just fill in the apern for another soft pop of color. Easy. Absolutely. And it's so effective too. It just adds that little bit of dimension. That crystal just reflects that beautiful yes. rose color. And then again, because they've been dried, these are gonna last your entire holiday weekend. Exactly. You're not having to worry about fresh flowers or replacing water or making sure that the petals of your roses aren't turning prematurely. It's dry. Well, you've heard it here. Thank you so much, Mary Lane, for Absolutely. this beautiful centerpiece. I cannot wait to recreate it for my Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm so glad. Thanks, y'all.